guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite LEGO Star Wars characters that I own. I have a lot of LEGO Star Wars characters, as you guys can see, and uh, about 10 of them really stand out and deserve my favorite. So anyways, let's hop right into the video. Starting out with number 10, we have Major Von Ray. Major Von Ray came in the 2019 set, Major Von Ray's TIE Interceptor, or TIE Fighter as the set is actually called. But as you guys can see, he, he's a really good character, and he goes really well with Major Von Ray's TIE Fighter slash TIE Interceptor. And it looks really good. The set itself looks really good, as well as the character to go along with it. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't really know what he's from, but that's because he's from a very dumb uh, Star Wars Resistance series on Disney+. Plus. The set also came with three other figures, but I mean, nobody really cares about those characters. This is really the main reason you would get the set, as well as the set itself. But this character just looks really good and goes well with the set itself. Anyways, let's move on to number nine. Next up for number nine, we have Ahsoka's 332nd Trooper, an amazing looking character that uh, that is from Season 7 of The Clone Wars, and that came in a 2020 set, summer set. The set is the AAT, and it's a good set. The only problem about this character, though, is that it came in such an expensive set. Well, not really that expensive, only being $40. But the problem is, you're only getting one of them. You're also getting Ahsoka and two of these green troopers. As you can see, I'm missing one. But still, this is an amazing character. I just wish that you could get it in cheaper for and get more of them. But I still think it deserves a spot in my number 10, in my top 10 list. Anyways, let's move on to number eight. Next up for number eight, we have this character. Don't remember her name, but she's from the 2019 or 2018 Cloud Swoop Bike set. This is an amazing character who also came with these two other characters. Sadly, I don't have the Cloud Swoop Bike sets uh, built and ready. But yeah, these are okay characters, but really the main reason I like this set is for this character. She's an amazing character with an awesome double-sided printed cape and a really cool custom molded helmet. The helmet looks amazing and I've used it for some custom characters in the past. But I think that this character deserves the number 8 spot in my top 10 list. Next up for number 7, we have Boba Fett. This is another character that I don't have the set built for, and I don't have the other characters for the set either right now, but this is an amazing character. Boba Fett is a really cool character, probably one of the coolest in Star Wars, and this is a really good version of him in the as a uh, original trilogy version. He has a really cool sand green jetpack and helmet that's all custom printed with a really cool custom printed cape as well. It just looks amazing, and he's a really good character that I definitely think deserves the number 7 spot in the top 10 list. Next up for number 6, we have this character. Don't know what battalion he's in or anything like that, but he is an amazing character. I got this character a long time ago in a set that I still don't have built, and he did come with some other droids, but I don't have them here. This character though looks amazing. He has a very different printed uh, face or helmet than every other clone trooper. But he looks super cool. It's some simple prints and just uh, one different colored arm, but I still really love this character. He's always been one of my favorite characters since I first started getting into Star Wars. And that's why he's in this top 10 list. Mostly because of nostalgia, but also because he looks pretty cool as well. Anyways, let's move on to number 5. Next up for this number 5 spot, we have the 501st Trooper. This is an amazing looking trooper and one that many Star Wars fans have been anticipating for a long time. This came in a 20, uh, summer 2020 set and also comes with two other normal 501st troopers, a jetpack trooper and two droids. No one really cares about the droids though, I mean I guess they're nice to have, but the main thing was this 501st stuff. It also came with two really good builds, but I think the main reason people buy this set is for the characters themselves. That's why this character is in my number 5 spot, and anyways, let's move on to number 4. For number 4, we have Ahsoka. A really good character, also from the 2020 Summer Wave, that came with this in the same set as Ahsoka's 332nd Trooper, this uh, uh, droid, whatever. 
and then the set itself, the AAT. This character looks amazing, and Ahsoka is definitely one of people's most favorite Star Wars characters, especially because it's Clone Wars of Season 7. This is a Clone Wars Season 7 version of her, and she looks really good. She's also going to be in a 2021 summer set for only $20, but if you want to get her through the second trooper, you're going to have to buy this set. But she is an amazing looking character, and Season 7 of the Clone Wars is definitely my favorite season, so she definitely deserves to be my number 4 spot in this top 10 list. Next up, we have the newer version of Darth Vader. This version of Darth Vader came in the Darth Vader transformation set back a while ago, and sadly, I don't have the characters for this build, nor do I have the set built, so I can't show off those. But this is an amazing version of Darth Vader. This was the first set that he came in that had his new two-piece helmet, which, uh, sorry, I can't really do it with one hand, but it's an amazing feature, and it definitely makes Darth Vader look a lot cooler and be a lot better character. This is why he's my number three spot. Also, I guess he is technically my favorite Star Wars character in the movies. So yeah, he definitely deserves my number three spot in the top 10 list. Next up, we have this Art Trooper, an amazing character that came in a pretty old battle pack. Now, although this battle pack only came with two characters, this guy and this Art Trooper, I still think it's a really good set. I had to change out his little bottom pauldron because I couldn't find the black one, but this guy has been one of my favorite clone troopers for a long time, at least in Lego. He's an amazing looker looking character, and he also came with this other arc trooper who's not in my top 10 list, but I still think he deserves to be in this video. Anyways though, this guy is an amazing clone trooper, and you could get him in a $15 set. You're not really going to want to build an army of these guys just because, I mean, there's no point in doing that in the universe. But he still is a very good character and came with a okay side build and two commando droids, which is also cool, I guess. But anyways, let's move on to number one. Now, actually, before we get to number one, here are three characters that I think deserve to be in this video, although they're not on my top ten list. They're all kind of army building characters, however, there are a few problems with all of them. This guy only came in one set, although it was a $10 set, he's a very iconic character. I mean, he's very basic, he's just a, he's just a phase two clone trooper. I don't get why we didn't see him in more sets, because I think we should. I definitely think we should see him in the future again. Next we have the Sith Trooper, who's another really good looking character. However, he only came in two sets. One of them is an army building set, but came with two jetpack troopers. And then the, he came in one other set, which was $130, um, a Kylo Ren shuttle. And then we of course have the Shadow Trooper. Shadow Trooper is one of my favorite Stormtrooper variants that we have in LEGO Star Wars. And I think he should be in more sets as well. He's a really good character, and we only got him in one battle pack, but he's still a really good character. And I think these three, although not being in my top 10 list, deserve to be in this video. Now, finally, for my number one most favorite LEGO Star Wars character ever, we have Darth Vader. Now, I know I already had Darth Vader in this video, but that one is the newer version. This is the older version. Now, this character just has a lot of nostalgia for me. I actually didn't get him in a set, and I actually got him from my grandma who won it in a bidding thing on eBay. It's just a really classic character. I mean, you have this really basic helmet that, again, doesn't look as good as the new one, but it's still just nostalgic for me. You also have this, you, ha you also have no leg printing and a pretty basic torso printing compared to the newer figure. However, this character just has so much nostalgia for me. This character also has one of those hard capes that we don't see very much anymore in LEGO Star Wars. And yeah, this is just my favorite character. He made, he's a really old character that just has so much nostalgia for me and was one of my first Star Wars figures. I remember really wanting Darth Vader when I started getting the latest Star Wars and he just wasn't in many sets. And so it was really cool to get him. And it's even cooler now to have a really older, a really old version of him. Anyways though, I hope you guys enjoyed my top 10 list. Make sure to subscribe and like and see you guys next time.